Hey everybody, I'm Mary, and this is my Simple Cottage Life. I wanted to show you the bridal wreath this morning. We're due for some storms today and some pretty heavy rains and wind. And I figure that's gonna knock all the blossoms off of this thing. And I wanted to show you, it's not even fully opened yet, but isn't that glorious? It is a beautiful thing. Oh my goodness, I'm watching for how I walk through here. I don't wanna stumble. But see, some are still not open. You can see there's quite a few in here that still aren't open, but it, it is amazing. Let me see what the other side does. Here it go. Oh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It's huge too, y'all. I mean, this is huge because this is my height right here. <laughs> so it is so, so pretty. I love this thing. Look at these gorgeous blooms. Anyway, unfortunately, it doesn't last a long time. But it lasted long enough for me to enjoy the heck out of it. Isn't it pretty? My, my, my umbrella tree hasn't uh, put out any little blooms yet. But the Catawba tree is putting lots of uh, leaves on. It's already got worms also. I found some Catawba worms yesterday. Working on my yard. Look how big that guy's gotten. There's my lantana down that way. These guys are really growing. Yep. Look at it one more time. I'm loving that. The day before yesterday, I wanted to make a flower bed over here and plant my lantana. I needed something to edge around it. And I knew that just right across the property here, I had a lot of great looking brick type uh, edgings, cement things. And it was in an area where that big tree had fallen and I couldn't, I couldn't get to it. Couldn't even mow over there for months until my son and his friend came and cut that tree up. So I got my cart and I went over there yesterday and I found a lot of these brick pavers type things. I loaded up that cart, drug it up the hill, came over here and put it out and then I realized I needed one more load. I went back and got another and that's really grown up over there. Can't, couldn't get the lawnmower in there at all. So lots of weeds and lots of tall grass. But I got another load and brought it over here and set it out. By the time I did all that, I was worn out. So I said, that's it for me today. I went in, took a shower, got something to eat, watched TV a little while, and then I went, I went to bed. And boy, did I sleep soundly. Wow, I must have really been worn out. So the next morning when I got up, I was going to have to take my son uh, sometime afternoon. I was going to have to take him uh, to an auto, auto repair shop. He had a little problem with his car, and I was going to follow him down there and bring him home. 
Well, I was getting dressed and I noticed something right back here. Now, I have a lot of molds and things. I know y'all have noticed these. I've got a lot of them. And this was not a mold. I've never seen that before. It was right here. Almost impossible to see it in a mirror. I touched that thing and it moved and I knew, oh Lord, it was a chick. And of course I worry about, you know, um, what is that, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever or whatever it's called, like, oh, Lyme's disease, Lyme disease. So anyway, it just freaked me out, that sucker I knew that had been on my back and I'd slept like that all night long. But I'm sort of glad I didn't notice it before because, I mean, I wouldn't have been able to sleep at all. So I couldn't, I, I got the tweezers and I picked at it and picked at it, but it's, it's a difficult place to reach and to see at the same time. Well, I picked it apart until there was nothing left in it but that head and that just, that totally creeped me out, y'all. I was just, that was awful. So, <laughs> it was terrible. So, I couldn't wait to where I got to my son and we got the car taken down. I brought him home and I told him, I said, you're gonna have to do something for me. And if you don't wanna do it, I'm gonna have to go down to the emergency room. And he was like, oh, well, okay. Told him about the tick. And I had some tweezers with me, I brought them. And he reached back there and took, it took him a couple of times, but he got that thing off of there. But oh y'all, that's the most horrible, horrible feeling knowing that you've got this alien embedded in your skin and there's nothing you can do about it. The weirdest things happen to me. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't bother anybody. I'm out in the country. I mind my own business, you know, <laughs> and yet stupid, stupid things happen to me all the time. Anyway, that was a horrible experience. I'm glad that thing's gone. I, I don't, I keep feeling of it and looking at it and keep putting stuff on it because I, it scares me that I'm gonna get a disease from that tick. And I don't know, I, I've got, I'm gonna bought some spray and next time I go over there and, and get anything else from over there, I'm gonna spray myself good with that, with that spray to keep the bugs off. Anyway, that's my story for today. And I showed you my beautiful bush back here. Isn't that prettiest, isn't that beautiful? I love it. So I hope y'all have a great day, and I hope God is good to you. I'm not going to work out my yard today because it's overcast. It's sprinkling a little bit, and I know we're going to have some rains this afternoon, so I'm going to have to find something to do in the house, and I'm quite sure I can. So, okay, everybody, have a great day, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.